examination of the peripheral vascular system. This examination will commence by checking the pulse, specifically the radial pulse to determine the heart rate. The radial pulse is 88 beats per minute. Now the doctor is going to check the blood pressure in three different positions which include sitting, lying and standing. Those three positions were chosen to check for postural hypertension. Sitting position. The blood pressure during sitting was 103 over 70 millimeters mercury. Supine position. The blood pressure during lying was 104 over 70 millimeters mercury. Standing position. The blood pressure during standing position was 103 over 69 millimeters mercury. Inspection of the hand. The doctor will check for any scars, masses, lesions or discolorations on the skin. Palpation of the hand. The doctor will palpate the hand for any temperature differences. The doctor will now perform the Allen's test on both hand to check for radial and ulnar arteries patency. A close-up view of the Allen's test. Note the increase in redness when the arteries are released. Nail blanch test or capillary refill time, which is done on the nail beds. It is used to monitor dehydration and the amount of blood flow to tissue. The normal capillary refill time is 2 seconds. Close-up view of the nail blanch test. Clubbing. Clubbing is a physical sign characterized by bulbous enlargement of the ends of one or more fingers or toes. The doctor will now examine the eyes. Checking for anemia by asking the patient to look up. And jaundice by asking the patient to look down without moving his head for both. Close up view of the eyes examination. An examination of the mouth, checking for glycythis by asking the patient to open his mouth. And central cyanosis by asking the patient to raise his tongue. Close up view of the mouth examination. With the patient in cardiac position, the doctor will start with inspection of the feet, checking for any scars, masses, lesions or discolorations on the skin. Close up view of the feet examination. Palpation of the feet for any temperature differences. Then palpation for pitting edema. Pitting edema leaves a dent in the skin after you press the area with a finger for about 5 seconds. The dent will slowly fill back in. The doctor will now move on to check for bilateral pulses which include Radial pulse Brachial pulse Carotid pulse, which will be checked separately
für Moral Pulse. Poppy Teal Pulse. Posterior tibial pulse and the satispedis pulse. Now the doctor is going to check for brutes over the carotid artery using the bell of the stethoscope. With patient's head elevated 45 degree, the jugular venous pressure is now going to be measured. The doctor will first look for the jugular pulsation. Using a centimeter ruler, the vertical distance between the angle manupriosternal joint and the highest level of jugular vein pulsation will be measured. Close-up view of the measurement of the JVP. The JVP here is 4 cm water. Examination of the precordium. Examination of the precordium is going to start with inspection for any scars, masses, lesions or discolorations. Close up view of the inspection of the precordium. Then palpation for thrills. Close up view of the palpation of the precordium. Then for apical beat location and measurement, point of maximal impulse. The doctor is going to locate the apical beat by palpating each intercostal space to reach the fifth intercostal space, midclavicular. The apical impulse would be measured. Close up view of locating the apical impulse. The apical impulse is normally 2 to 3 centimeters, and here it was found to be 2 centimeters. Also, the distance between the apical impulse and the sternum will also be measured. The doctor will now because for heart size. Close up view of the percussion for heart size. The doctor will now do auscultation over the precordium with the diaphragm of the stethoscope on four areas.
pulmonic area, aortic area, tricuspid area, and mitral area. Then in a reverse direction on those areas but using the bell of the stethoscope. Lastly, the doctor will ask the patient to lean to his left side to check for mitral stenosis. Then sit up leaning forward to check for aortic regurgitation. Dixil American University and students of ND4 2014-2015 batch, we would like to thank you for watching this video.